Go ahead. Okay, Dave, you seem fit. Do you work out? No. Okay, what does a Brocky eat? Uh, I only eat when I'm hungry, so I, I don't have like a fixated plan. A lot of people, I think our society makes us eat way too much. Uh, we don't need to eat three big meals a day. I eat when I'm hungry. I like pasta, I like broccoli, I like chicken. Um, like, you know, I like fatty foods like sausage and bacon and stuff like that. But Sweet. But eat them sparingly, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I've always said everything, um, everything, what's it, was it? Oh, everything in moderation, including moderation. Uh, interview five minutes, please. Uh, well, okay. Does hating Earth give you the lust for blood? Well, yes, it does. And, uh, with all the hating, there's also a lot of love, you know. I think I have an undue reputation as a hater when I'm really not. I'm a lover. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I figured you were a lover, not a fighter. I guess the older we get, the more we love life, right? Right, it's true. It's like, <laughs> it's like you know, if you told me that I would still be swinging when I was 48, you know, like, I remember when I was a kid looking forward to uh, the year 2000 and thinking, oh my God, I'm going to be so old when the year 2000 comes. Mm -hmm. I, I will be so old. It's like, when that happens, I won't even be in the mix anymore. It's like I'll be like at some old folks home or something. Well, here, here it is, you know, uh, 2011, and I just I just turned 48 like last week. God and, bless um, you. It's just like it just I'm not too rolling. far behind you, man. And I gotta tell you, I look up to you. You're a very very inspirational character. Now let me ask you, it's been quite a while since hello. Wow, yeah. Are you proud of all of the devastation that you caused over the last 23 plus years of your oh. life? Yeah, I am. I mean, like, to the point where when I was a kid, I used to think the worst thing that could possibly happen is if, like, I would be at the end of my life and look back on it and go, you just fucked up. You didn't do anything. You, uh, you just blew it, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't feel that way. It's like, when I met these guys that we created Guar together and we started doing this thing, it, it really gave my life meaning. I was going to end up <clears throat> working construction for the rest of my life. Mm. Not that there's anything wrong with working construction, but like, I mean, if you're an artist or a musician, it's very fucking difficult yes, it to, is. to make a living. So somehow we've been able to do it, and there's not a second that I'm part of that that I do not just absolutely count my lucky stars, my blessings, and all the fans that have supported us for so many years. Um, yeah, I'm amazed and astounded and... Uh, just, I mean, well, I, what, what can you say when people come up to you and they say they say things to you like, you're like an important part of my life, you've, ins right. you've inspired me. It's like, that is the greatest thing as an artist that you can get. Oh, sure. It, I think. Oh, without a doubt. And, and you know, uh, you've been doing this, like I said, for a very long time. Uh, you, I'm a firm believer in what you put into life, you get out. And you certainly put in a lot of effort. I see all the energy that you put out during the show. It's miraculous. Especially in all that you have to wear here. This is what he usually wears uh, during all of the sets. Well, um, and not like, to da mention dancing around and moving around and and singing. I mean, like <laughs> keeping keeping, yeah, the, keeping the, the, the rhythm going. Yeah, man. It's just like I I, I was uh, I never played high school football, but I did play like uh, uh, youth club football, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's like a little hair in my mouth. Mm -hmm. there, it's a lot like playing football it really is it's, you know you put on your fucking uniform you get out there you play the game mm -hmm. you know and uh, and you're done and so I, I just try to I kind of look at it like it's an athletic event you know and exactly. uh, I'm certainly not like a trained athlete or anything like that but that's enough of a workout for anybody and, oh yeah uh, man and what would you say is the usual gore set about two hours oh hour? no no not that long we, we play oh, about an hour. hour and then we usually take about five minutes as okay. the crowd goes berserk and then we come back and do like another like 12 little, to 15. Okay. So yeah, an hour, hour 20, hour 25. Nice. Nice. That's a lot. Very cool. 48, bro. And uh, I okay. Know. okay, do you do you see Gore blowing up the earth sometime soon? Or well, do you love the earth? <laughs> I don't. Yeah, we always uh talk about destroying the planet, but like uh, at the same time if we did that, we wouldn't have a stage. We wouldn't have any fans, we'd have a stage right? to play on. So. <laughs> I think that as long as Guar continues to put out good music and good art that we'll have a place here. Nice. I, I don't think anybody can touch what we do, and I don't say that like uh, bombastically or, or egotistically. I just don't think anyone wants to touch horror comedy metal because they know they can't do a better job than Guar, you know? That's and true. So that is it's very kind true. of been our domain, and... Uh, you know, I'd like to see somebody else take a shot, you know, but like bands, 
that are doing like the horror comedy thing or like the horror metal thing like Slipknot or Lordy or even Ghoul, you know, they, they stay away from the humor element because uh -huh. they know that's kind of where we're, we're that's coming right from. they can't so, tread on gore soil that's so it's like I'd love to see other things happen but you know we're gonna from the very beginning we always thought guar was an idea that could last for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years um, and, and it we, is lasting we could literally we could have you know our children or you know genetically enhanced replacements at some point <laughs> I'm, I'm also a huge fan of x cops too oh you know? that was a fun it's fun like thing one oh, of yeah. my favorite you know right to me i think definitely. that was really a really very very solid metal awesome. record like right at the time we did that we were doing guar and we were, we were kind of going through a phase with guar where we were kind of having a lot of like it was getting a little silly we were doing lots of songs like fish fuck and stuff like that mm -hmm. and that was really fine but at the same time, we wanted to show people that we could play metal as well. And so we did X-Cops. But then when we got around to Violence Has Arrived, we were just like, you know what? we got to stop doing all these X these uh, side projects. DBX was kind of like the silly side project. Yes. X-Cops was like the more heavy side project. Mm -hmm. We were just like, let's put them together and let's make them guar. And that was when Violence Has Arrived. And that's when I think guar kind of oh, refound their metal roots. And really, we've been rolling on that ever since. Great. And and uh, I really think it was like a, a, a rebirth of the band, so. So are you happy with the last tour? I mean, that just well, happened? Well, I'll tell you, what's, what, what's been difficult uh, is just the economy. It's finally caught up even sure. with, the, with the metal industry. It's like mm -hmm. usually you can stay on top of that stuff and, and the very last thing that's gonna happen is people are gonna stop spending money on music and entertainment. But really, the economy has been stretched out for so long now that it actually did start to affect us on the last couple of tours. So it's oh, just like, yeah, sure, yeah. But we can't let that stop us, and we just keep making bigger and crazier shows. I mean, we, we're not just like a normal band. We don't just, like, throw our stuff in the truck and take off on tour. We build a whole new show. A we have to rehearse it. Whole thing, yeah. We have to, like, get all this shit together, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, and it's all very expensive. Just the, oh, very, yeah, sure. the very latex that we make the costumes mm -hmm, out of. Mm -hmm. Is incredibly expensive, I, oh, you know. Sure. But then again, I think about Detroit and how many rubber trees they must have knocked down to make every <laughs> tire in the world. So somehow I deal with it. So. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, Dave, uh, it's been a long time, and uh, I don't care if if money's running low or whatever's going on in my life. I always support the Gore because you, you, I see you, I see you up there. You got so much passion for what you do, and and like other people have told you. You're very inspirational, and that gives me the strength to say, "Hey, get get the fuck off your ass, fat guy, well, that's and what, go." That's so, what we Zoo to Man do. is Zoo Man is doing it. Well, we uh, we that's the best thing as far as I'm concerned that you can get out of being an artist. I remember when I was a little kid, uh, I went to go see the Ramones. Uh, I guess it was like 19. 79, 1980, wow. and Johnny Ramone flipped me his guitar pick and like gave me a little thumbs up and like just that one little moment that he sure. was cool to me and showed me a little respect that stuck with me, you know, for so long. And like I've had, I've met plenty of rock stars over the years, and I've been inspired by lots of their music. But I tell you, when when these guys take it an extra step and they're actually civil. Uh, intelligent human beings that uh -huh. respect their fans and, and that that really means a lot and uh, that's what I've always tried to do uh, Guar is an everyman band we're a blue collar band I've always said that our fucking when we wear our costumes it actually keeps us a lot closer to reality than if Sweet. we didn't because like you know these guys they don't know when the show is over they play the show they walk off the stage and they're the exact same person. I get to take off my shit, throw it in the corner, and then I can be I can be Dave again. And you're and you're, but you're still you remain grounded and you're still primal, and that's your energy. You're not, I feel like there yeah. is a blob of lava crusting up out of the earth that like comes through the soles of my feet, and as long as that energy is rocking through me, I will I will ride the fire. <laughs> I will ride the fire. You heard it here at Ozzy's Nuclear Metal Show. I want to thank you so much, Dave. You got Thank some you big so ass much. fucking hands. I drink a lot of milk, man. Yeah. I drink, uh, oh, I love my, milk. My, my name, <laughs> I don't drink it anymore, but my name is Ozzy, my real name, and that's my show. Okay, I hope you like it. And here goes my contact information Necromancer Productions is the name of my company. And, awesome. Uh, you know, I just want to thank you for this moment in time, you know. Well, thank you very much for the support, and we will see you guys out there. You got it.